A couple of months ago, I purchased a mint plant and realized that leaves started to get eaten. Then one night I found this little guy on one of the leaves. Now, just to be clear, this caterpillar is qualified as a pest. I could have easily just thrown it out or put it outside, but I just had this guilt inside and I didn't want to be the cause for its death. Um, I wanted to be able to give it a chance. That might sound selfish, but that's kind of what I wanted. <laughs> So I kept him then in a little container, fed it cucumber, and surprisingly one day it rolled onto its back. I thought it was dead, but no, it started creating a little cocoon thing. And after a couple of days, a moth appeared. I did what I could. I supported it into its moth farm, and as a moth it could fly and um, explore the world. It probably got eaten within maybe two seconds after being released released but if it served as a protein or something for a bird that i'll take that you know i did what i could and um there you go so this is a little video then just to honor it i want to create a painting just to honor the little moth um, that once was now isn't this a beautiful little background with my fridge right here, my stove right here, and my bin right there. Perfect calming location for painting. Now, as stated, this will be a tiny homage to my little caterpillar friend. I am in the kitchen because um, I do want to open the big windows to air it out and keep this cat there um, in the other room so she doesn't try jumping or anything. Um, she is pretty smart she normally wouldn't jump but when she was a kitten she did fall once from the first floor um, I'm on the second floor now so just trying to be extra careful so first will be a layer of um, a bit like a sepia color a brown color just to get the shadows and the details of the caterpillars before then working on the background again I'm gonna try new different techniques and hopefully they work out well um, and yeah We'll see. Throughout my little caterpillar's stay in this little apartment, I was always nervous that one day I will wake up and there won't be a caterpillar inside of the container anymore. And one day I'll step on it, end up killing it somehow. This fear lasted for weeks until it finally transformed and became a cocoon and transformed into a moth. But I have a distinctive memory of a tree that we had in the garden before in France. Almost every single year, caterpillars will fill up that tree completely with the nests that they have. And I would just walk across that area and caterpillars will be hanging down and getting into my hair and into my clothes. Ooh, even when there weren't any caterpillars on that tree anymore, I would always run past it just in case caterpillars will all of a sudden just fall down onto me. I don't mind caterpillars from afar and looking at them, but I just get scared of squishing them and hurting them or flicking them. I don't like that. I don't like it for spiders. I don't like it for for any small thing, for birds, for mice. I just, I'm just terrified that I'll hurt them. So there's a little insight to uh, a certain fear of mine. <laughs> This is the first time I do such a like blended 
background. Um, there are things that I do see that could be better, but then other things, you know, but then it could be worse too. So I liked it at one point and then I kept touching it and then I didn't like it anymore, but then I kept touching it and I like it again. So I'm just going to leave it at this, I think. Yeah. And now I'm going to tackle the caterpillar guy himself. So I did to get to make sure everything was blended. Um, I did end up painting a bit with within the caterpillar, but that's okay because I can still see the outline. And I think that this brownness is going to um, also keep him within the background too. So the colors are a bit more similar. You know, there'll still be that brownish shade. And I kept it wherever, you know, there would be shade anyway, except for the bottom. So I think that that makes sense. Um, certainly here somewhere, I will remove a bit of it and so that it's a little bit brighter. But I think this can work. I think I can make it work. So now I just need to um, figure out the colors for the caterpillar. He will be a green, like normal caterpillar green. Um, green, brownish more like saturated, satu saturated, saturated um, green. I don't know. It's a bit hard to decide. I thought of a blue caterpillar, but I just think the green caterpillar will fit better in the background. And um, the, gr the caterpillar I had was a green caterpillar. It was fully green. So I think that I should do fully green too. Um, a little bit of freedom with maybe some yellow spots or white spots or something or red spots who knows but right now let's just do the base of the caterpillar all green and maybe give him some sort of a little lighter greenish yellowish tummy and yeah so let's get started Okay, I think I'm gonna stop touching it um, for a little while now and let some of the paint dry and also just step away from it so then I can come back to it later and maybe I'll have a better idea about certain things. But this is what it looks like now, if you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's looking good. It's looking like a bit like how I envisioned it to look like, so that's always a good sign. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna step away. It's always hard to step away because you keep wanting to touch and do a bit more, which I think I will actually still do a little bit, but then I'm gonna step away and then, yeah.
想你了，然后怎样？一个人独来独往，在这。是这样用的，梦醒过来了，伤口复原，留下伤痕。So it's a new day.、Um, actually, two days have already passed. But、um, I was just really waiting for some bits to at least dry a little bit more. Today, I think we could probably finish a lot of this.、Um, maybe even finish it today. Actually, there's little things to then add. So little details, little trees. I'd like to add and unify the coats a little bit more. And then that's it, really. And then adding just.、Um, I want a little bit of string coming off as well, like、uh, the string that caterpillars have where they fall down from. And yeah, and then we'll. I think it's done.